YouTube Zookeeper. Today I... Why is that measuring? Current? Stop. Today, quick project. I'm hoping to keep this video under five minutes. <laughs> Anybody who's watched this channel before knows that is not particularly likely. But we'll try. What I'm attempting to do is figure out um, this is the leaf main relay board. It has the positive DC relay for the high voltage pack, the negative, D, uh, negative DC relay for the high voltage pack, a pre-charge relay and a pre-charge resistor and some other superfluous connections that I'll never use because they're high voltage. Um, so what I have done here on this little piece of paper, uh, which is my little booklet of recordings, um, it notes, I'll say, is I have only broken out the six control wires, two for the plus DC relay, two for the minus DC relay, and these two here for the precharge relay, trying to find out how much current they draw. So I tied the blue-red wire, which is for the negative relay, the purple wire, which is for the positive relay, and the brown wire, which is for the precharge relay, all to ground. And I did that with this little black alligator clip wire here. And then I connected this black wire, which is 12 volt ground, back to my regulated power supply, which is set for 12 volts um, regulated. And I will connect the orange for, for the negative relay, the yellow for the positive relay, and the red for the precharge relay, and see how many amps each one draws independently. So um, I have these kind of laid out this way, so let's just start with the orange one. Oops. Okay, so I get about 0.4 amps. So orange would be here. This would be 0 0.4 amps. Okay. So the next one in line is the red one. That is 0.1 maybe, 0.2, we'll call it 0.2 because we'll measure the highest and red is pre-charge, 0.2 amps, like my chicken scratch. And the last one to do is the yellow one which is hiding down here, we'll clip that one on. Let that stabilize, looks like 3.3.4, 0. 0.4, okay, it reads the highest at 0. 0.4. All right, now, V equals IR, current adds, if I supply two relays with the same source, I should have twice this amount of current if I tie these two together, which I have a wire to do, and then I will measure that result. Here's my yellow wire, and I'm just going to always go to the unpowered side first. All right, so orange is my ground relay, yellow is my positive relay. See how many amps they draw together. Should be 0.8 approximately. Yep, and there we see 0.7 and then 0.8. Right, so that's 0.8 amps. Now that's at 12 volts DC, so a fuse of one amp or larger is more than adequate and these won't cause that fuse to blow. Um, and the reason I'm saying that is I plan to use very very small wires like maybe this, which will handle an amp of current all day long, um, which you know 1820 gauge wire, which is about what these already are, to power these relays. That way if anything really bad happens and something shorts out to something, um, I'll blow the fuse instantly. I don't want to put a 5 amp fuse in there. I want to put the absolute smallest relay, or I'm sorry, fuse I can on these circuits. So with 0.8, I'll have a, oops, 1.0 to 1.5 amp fuse. Okay. So one to one and a half amps will more than cover my 0.8. My pre-charge relay is going to be on um, 
with the w in start um, only for a brief moment so I don't have to worry too much about that I will use that one as well but it, obviously anything you know, that thing only draws 0.2 amps so something very very small anyway um, that's my update for today folks as always if you find these videos even the smallest bit entertaining please do consider sharing liking and subscribing and patreon support would always be welcome as well thank you and have a great day and may your electric vehicle diy project get to completion as quickly as possible and as cheaply as possible thank you for watching zookeeper out